The news that the U.S. has been taken off the EU safe list for travel is not the disaster it could be for travel it obviously depends on whether travelers are vaccinated and crucially, whether or not European countries will change their travel rules before the end of summer. At first glance, it's a mixed bag. Countries belonging to the EU slash Schengen area, which allows the free flow of travel across the European bloc, are not obliged to follow EU-wide recommendations. And where some have, they have done so in unique ways, creating separate lists, for instance, for the newly listed unsafe ex-safe countries, Israel has also been taken off, as well as the U.S. Others already had applied measures and some have added new ones since. However, some countries have kept the same rules as before, for now, suggesting they will let existing mandates run until the next updates happen. To quote the New York Times, the fact that the U. S. is off the EU safe travel list doesn't mean that all unvaccinated Americans will need to quarantine. But it underscores how quickly rules and regulations continue to change and that unvaccinated travelers should be prepared to keep hitting refresh on the entry requirements for their chosen location until the moment they set out to the airport. In total, of the 27 EU and 3 Schengen area countries plus England on this list, 31 in total, at present this mostly shows just how complicated EU travel still is for everyone, particularly when traveling across multiple borders, a factor that is bound to influence travel plans for fall. For instance, some countries have brought back in the need for testing, on top of a requirement for vaccination or quarantine. It still remains that the surest way to keep traveling is to get vaccinated, and indeed, to stay vaccinated, an issue that will need reinforcing when booster jabs arrive many countries in the EU are already putting expiry dates on vaccination certificates for travel purposes. Here is the guide to which EU countries are currently accepting you. As travelers, as at the beginning of September, what you need to enter, and if you need to be vaccinated. These rules are in flux and liable to change overnight, particularly for unvaccinated you. S passengers vaccinated you. S travelers allowed, with an EMA approved vaccine, with proof of vaccination, no more than 270 days prior to arrival. Unvaccinated you. S travelers allowed, but if they have not had COVID-19 in the past 180 days, they must arrive with a negative COVID-19 test result a PCR test taken within 72 hours prior to arrival or a rapid antigen test taken within 48 hours prior to arrival, or carry out a test within 24 hours after entry. The U.S. is still on Austria's safe list. Vaccinated U.S. travelers allowed. No further testing or quarantine required. Unvaccinated U. S travelers allowed but must arrive with a negative PCR COVID-19 test result taken within 72 hours before arrival and must test again on day 7.